Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> Hello and welcome. I hope that everyone is doing really well today. Um, everyone's joining in on the call, so it's wonderful to see you guys checking in live. Hi. <laughs> so this morning, it, it's not an illusion. It is not the, just the fact that it's 1st of April does not mean that I'm not here for two days in a row. Yes, I am here two days in a row to talk to you about the elements. It's not an April Fool. So I hope that everyone's doing really well this morning. On the 1st of April, it's uh, amazing how time's flying. It doesn't seem that long ago since it was the 1st of the January <laughs> and suddenly it's the 1st of April. I'm going to go, oh no. <laughs> um, so good morning. It's wonderful to see everyone joining in on Facebook and on Instagram this morning. And uh, I just wanted to connect in with you uh, because yesterday we started a process. For those of you that saw the video yesterday, I was talking about the elements and how we can start to include the elements within our home and our everyday life. And uh, it's such a powerful thing that I wanted, I said to, to Jane, I was like, I want to go back on <laughs> because there's part two of what I was sharing yesterday. Um, so uh, today I wanted to share a short meditation with you and it's something that you can do on a regular basis um, to bring the harmony of the elements into your body and your heart and your mind. And uh, it's a really, really powerful way uh, for you to feel that sense of connection. So if you're holding your phone, I'd like you to put it down somewhere. You're just going to need the audio. You can prop it up if you want to see my beautiful face, uh, but otherwise just lay it down and make it sure that you can hear me. And then just allow yourself to come into a place of stillness and sitting comfortably. And I'm just going to guide you through this short 10 minute meditation. As I said, it's something you, you can do on a daily basis if you like. And it's a beautiful way to allow yourself to ground. So let's start with that. Allow yourself to sit comfortably, feel your spine lifting really tall and straight. Lift through the crown of the head so you feel really uh, strong, really stable. And then allow yourself to take a couple of breaths as you focus your awareness downwards towards the base of your body and tune into the energy of earth. So if you for a moment, just close your eyes, take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, settle your awareness down through your body. That's wonderful. So everyone that's gonna be joining in, they're gonna be coming straight into this meditation. So if you've just joined us, come into a sense of meditation as you take your awareness down through your body and feel yourself strong and stable. So if you can imagine the beautiful earth the trees, the rocks, the mountains, and you just, in your mind, have a picture of what Earth looks like for you. You can even visualize the globe if that's easier for you. And as you take your awareness into that energy of Earth, you start to feel yourself settling inside yourself. You become more grounded, stable, strong, empowered and courageous. So just for a few moments, allow yourself to tune in down to that earth energy. Allow your breaths to be slow, to be deep. And as you start to feel those emotions of strength and compassion, stability, energizing through your body, you just allow yourself to feel settled. You can even sense this uh, feeling of heaviness in your body. And as you breathe out, just feel your awareness moving downwards, just for this last time, down into the earth and feel a sense of nurturement. It's often said that the earth is the mother, the mother energy. And so she nurtures us with the food that we take, but also the energy and the feeling of compassion, nurturement. That's good. And as you feel that strength, you also allow yourself now to begin to flow a little bit with life. And that is the water element. So you raise your awareness up into the Swadhisthana area. And as you focus at water, see if you can come aware in your mind's eye of your favorite piece of water. So it could be a river or a lake or even the sea. And you feel a sense of flow in your life. So as you tune into the energy of water, flow through your body almost as if you're sitting in a river or lying on a beautiful warm ocean. And you feel the fluidity of your life. 
you feel that you're cleansing, that you're purifying your life, but also that you're able to let go and let the universe flow through you. And have the strength and the confidence to trust in that flow. Just as a river comes off the mountains and it slides down through the mountains out to the sea, you can just allow and trust your trust in that flow, that it's going, taking you to the right destination. So you allow life to flow in the same way. That's wonderful. So now, just become aware of the surface of the water. So wherever you are in your mind, in your visualisation, just become aware of the surface of the water. And as you do so, you see the sparkles of sunlight. And as you begin to focus on the energy of fire, the element of fire, you allow that fire to be within you at your Manipura center. And here, just underneath the diaphragm, that's where the solar energy resides in your body. And if you can, just feel a sense of strength and empowerment coming out from that center. Almost as if a, a sun is glowing inside of your own body. And as you do so, you feel really energized. You feel healthy. You feel vitalized. That's wonderful. Allow that energy to spread through your body, through your mind. Feeling healthy, energized. Perfectly in tune with the energy of fire. And it's actually the energy of light, not just fire, as in bonfires and raging bushfires. No, 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 it's the energy of light. So you can also start to visualise things like beautiful rainbow that has all those incredible colours, the beauty of nature. That's great. And feel that from that feeling of lightness, feel yourself expanding now. And as you expand, you feel your awareness moving up to the heart and you breathe in and fill your lungs. And as you do so, you tune into the element of the air and you expand yourself beyond these confines of this skin, beyond the confines of your room, wherever you are. And as your eyes are closed and you feel that expansion, it's almost as if there is no boundary between you and the air. And as you do so, you feel the energy flowing of air. You feel it flowing through you. See if you can imagine yourself becoming almost transparent to allow the energy of air to flow through you, around you, above you, below you, around you. And as you expand outwards and upwards, you lift your awareness from the energy of earth, the energy of water, the energy of fire. You lift your awareness up, become lighter in yourself. As you breathe deeply, lift your awareness up towards the sky, towards the clouds and above, lifting up into and above the air. And as you do so, you feel your awareness raising even higher, even higher until you become aware of space, Akash. So you've moved up from Vayu, at the heart centre, you lift up into Vishuddhi, into Ajna, into Sahasra, into those centres where you raise your awareness up into the sky above you, up high, until in your visualisation you can see the earth, the moon, suspended in space, jewels glittering in the, the dark expanse. You can see the other planets, you can even touch into the solar system as you raise your awareness beyond where we are into the space around us. You can go as high as you wish, as expanded as you wish, just for these last few moments. Tuning in deeply to that sense of connection above you. And then very gently, you're going to feel that awareness of expansious, ex, expanse and spaciousness pouring down, pouring down over the crown of your head, almost like a golden thread pouring down onto the crown, down through your body. And finally, very gently connecting to the earth beneath you. Still feeling that sense of expansion within you, 
but now you feel connected to the earth beneath you and at the same time to the expanse of the heavens above you. And you find your place. And that is the elegy of the ether, of Akasha, is the feeling of connection to all things, to all people. And just taking a couple of final deep breaths as you slowly draw your awareness back towards your body and towards this moment. You feel your awareness moving down from the crown of the head, down towards the heart, and you feel your awareness moving upwards from the base back to the heart centre as well. The place of balance where you find your sense of deep connection and inner stillness. So very gently open your eyes, feeling a sense of love and gratitude for these beautiful elements that surround us every single moment of every single day, keeping us alive, nurtured. And uh, I'd just like to warmly invite you to use this meditation on a regular basis as a way of connecting into nature, particularly if you're not going out a lot at the moment, this is a really important way for you to stay connected to nature. And uh, of course, if you want to know more about the how to work with not just the elements, but also with um, scripture and with uh, understanding some of these principles, uh, then you can join us this evening. We have a beautiful masterclass with Rita Goswami. I mentioned it yesterday, but you're very, very welcome to come and join us tonight. Um, have a look at drewyoga.com forward slash together at home. Um, you'll also find the link in the bio and in the Facebook page. So if you'd like to come and join us, we would warmly love to have you there. So thank you so much for joining me this morning. I hope that that has just been a little drop of stillness in your day. Thank you so much for joining me and I love, look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. Bye for now.